Hello Internet, my name is the Bowtie, and something is different. Oh yes, I'm a block. You see, thanks to a not YouTuber, I managed to make something in Minecraft called a Particle Accelerator. And I wanted to show this to you. This is the YouTuber that made this possible, and his name is Tango Tech. He found a glitch in Minecraft that allowed sand blocks to glide over fence posts by pushing the sand block with slime in mid-air. Thanks to this function, I've managed to make my particle accelerator. Thank you, Tango. That's all well and good, but... What has that anything to do with a particle accelerator? And... What is a particle accelerator? That's a very good question, Block Me. This is Flesh Me. I have flesh. A particle accelerator is a long metal tube that takes two subatomic particles and spins them around for many days and hours until they collide. A subatomic particle is a particle that is smaller than an atom, so we have electrons, we have photons, no, not photons. Well, I guess photon is a subatomic particle as well, but it's not in the atom. And we have protons and we have ne neutrons. When these two subatomic particles collide, they explode and we get to see what's inside them. Basically, we crack open the universe to try to find out what's inside. Of course, the physics doesn't work in Minecraft. I, I only try to illustrate on the computer, which is over there. I, I can't actually make a particle accelerator in Minecraft because there's no such thing as electron, proton, neutron, photon, or even an atom. We have pixels. So um, I've tried to illustrate it in Minecraft. Not build one, but illustrate one. So, let's start with having a look at how this thing works internally. So, we have the start particle acceleration lever, which will open this, because we have to be sure that we want this to work, that we want to put two particles in acceleration. So, we press this button, and this lights up, meaning that a particle is in acceleration. And now the particle has gone one round, by the time this heat hits three rounds, sorry, three rounds, I'm struggling a bit, a little bit with that, we can flick this lever and allow for collision. One eternity later. And the particle has gone three rounds. We can now allow for collision, and all of this will reset. By the time that makes a pling noise and the thing lights up, the particles will have collided, and we're done. It won't be particularly exciting, yeah, I know, but no, it's cool. A few moments later. There we go. It's 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 done. It's it has done its job, and well, <laughs> it's quite boring actually, because you know it doesn't it doesn't do anything. We don't we just we just stand here, flick levers, and press buttons. But uh, if you have a look at how it actually works, it's much more exciting. Let's have a look at the particle accelerator itself, the tube. This is where the particles move, accelerate. They move over here and, oh no, they hit the wall, what do they do? Well, they move over this tripwire, making the slime block move out of the wall. So, the particle will move over here, come here, well, oh no, it would push over here and move onwards in that direction. But how does the particles start to accelerate? Well, very good question. You see, over here, we have this slime block launcher. This launches the sand here. You see, when I press this button, that m shoots the sand, or, well, this concrete powder, out here in front of this, so that this shoots it out, and it will start moving. How does the particles collide, then? Well, you see, after these particles have gone two rounds, well, not the particles, but, you know, the concrete dust here, it, w when it falls down, when it hits the ground, it won't be ordinary sand like this. It will be, uh, it will be an entity like, like this. It will land like that. Therefore, after two rounds, when it, this has accelerated around, a counter will make it so that we can flick the lever from over there. This redstone torch will allow for some stuff happening in here, sorry, these uh, trip wires will detect when the particles or the concrete powder comes around and it will turn that off. See? See? It happened just there. And we heard the cling, I think. The bling? The cling? We heard the bling. Because 
when the sand falls down into those hoppers, they will be transferred over here to this item elevator that uses a glitch to move the items up and into this thing here. Yeah, this chest, and we can place them here. Now, very much of this particle accelerator that I have made is not necessary, okay? You see this redstone mess here? To make the particle accelerator itself, it is not necessary. But I think that it looked cooler, or it would be easier to operate with this. Hopefully, if I remember, and if I manage to find out how to do it, I will leave a link to this world in the description so that you can check it out for yourself. How to make this, you can study it, you can look at redstone wirings, because <laughs> honestly, I'm, I'm horrible at explaining these things. So, yeah, go and check it out. Link in the description. The most important stuff you must remember is how it accelerates, how it launches, and how it collides. Thank you so very much for watching. If you want to see more of this stuff, you can always hit the subscribe button. I, I do own a re YouTube channel for a reason. And if this particular video was very special to you, you can click the like button. It will really mean a lot to me. And I will see you in two weeks. Bye bye! Don't forget to vote for your favorite element in the monthly element contest down in the comment section. Who knows, maybe your favorite element would be the next element of the month. <sighs> Nobody votes for the element of the month anymore. Nobody did in the first place, actually. Just find the periodic table nearby you and just choose a random element from the periodic table and, and submit it in the comment section. It's not that difficult, please. Please.